Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, was looking at this uh, M3 trade that I have here and considering ex exiting it today, um, but I'm not going to. However, I did think of this as a good opportunity to show you how to plan an exit for a complex um, options spread. This is a trade where I have a, uh, let's see, I have a, a 690, 700 call vertical. I have a 700, uh, 710, 720 call vertical. I have a uh, 760, 710, 660 put butterfly. And I also have a uh, deep in the money long call. Now, when I go to exit this thing, um, you know, a lot of people are going to come in, they're just going to take, you know, this says I'm up $920, okay? Um, the first thing I want to do is, is say, well, am I really, is this a, is, a, a, is this a real valid number? So what I'm going to do to figure that out is first I'm going to take a look at my call spreads because these are deep in the money calls. And if you look at your trade page, you will find that they have very wide, very wide bid ask spreads on them. So, you know, one of the ones we have, for example, is a 690. You see this spread here is uh, one, two, almost three dollars, right? And then you, the next one down here is about the same. So that price that they're showing me may have absolutely nothing to do with reality. So in order to test that, what I want to take a look at is the calls, because if you take a look at the calls on the same strikes here, if you take a look at the calls, we have a bid ask of, uh, what, 15 cents? And on this guy here, we have a bid ask of maybe 30 cents. So the trading on the put side is going to be much tighter, and the market makers can't give you as false of a price on that. So if I come in here and take a look at my call vertical right now, it says I can get 8.95 for it. So let me let me check the put price. The puts are going for 113. Now, if I have a $10 uh, spread on a put spread, its maximum value is $10. So if I take $10 and I minus 113, uh, we'll call it 110 just to be round. If I call that 110, that means I should be able to sell this uh, at about 890. Actually, this is since this is 113. If mid is 890, should be 890. I'll probably the real price on that's 89, 8, uh, 885. So if I come back to my call, it's showing me 895. So I know right off I'm going to lose uh, $10 here from what this price says. If I come down to my next one, it's telling me it's going to give me an $8 credit. Uh, my put side's telling me I'm going to get an 810 credit. So I may make up a little bit on this. Now this is trading a lot closer than it was earlier. Earlier, this was trading at 865. As you can see, the price has come back into reality because now my profit's only up 821. A lot of that is in the fact that this thing dropped 70, now 80 cents. Because this was trading 865, my put was trading at still 190. That hasn't changed. That's been pretty consistent the whole time. So if I want to exit this, I can plan on maybe getting eight between $8 and $8.10 for it, not the $8.65 that it was showing me earlier. It was showing me a fake number. Uh, so you need to be aware of that before you, before you exit. Now on these put butterflies, or on these butterflies, I like to, you know, there's a, there's a price that they're going to take, um, and I kind of need to guess what that is. Well, this... This guy says he's going for twelve ninety five. I want to check the price of the call butterfly just to see where that's at. Uh, the call butterfly says we're going for twelve sixty five. The put says twelve eighty. A little bit earlier, the put was t the call was telling me eleven ninety five, and the put was around uh, twelve eighty. So, uh, you know, in that case, you need to be aware of that discrepancy. And when you plan your exit, only plan on getting maybe the lower amount. Or you can go to the alternative and take a look at the iron condor. Uh, the iron condor is giving you, obviously, the price of the puts on the downside and the price of the calls on the upside. A butterfly has a total value, a 50-point wing butterfly has a total value of 5 uh, or $50. 
So if uh, I'm selling for a 37.55 credit, that means I have a 12.45 is my expected price on this. Uh, if it was a just a, either a put or a call butterfly, so this is telling me 12.45. The puts are telling me 12.60. The calls are telling me uh, 12.25. So, you know, if I was going into this exit, I was, I'd be thinking I'd probably be getting around maybe 12.30, 12.35 for this. That would be a fair price. So if I take those prices into consideration, I sh well, I need to take those prices into consideration before I decide to start exiting this. Um, also, you'll want to watch this for 15 minutes or so because sometimes they bounce back and forth quite a bit. And you want to make sure that, you know, before your exit, you're really going to hit your you're actually going to hit your profit targets on these um, okay so anyway that is basically how you would tell or project what you may get on an exit and the next thing you need to look at is the order you're going to exit these and I'm actually running out of time in the market so I'm going to we'll go over that another time but this is a good uh, uh, this I thought this was a good opportunity to take a look at the uh, the prices and show you how to determine what your real profit and loss is. Thank you and, and have a good day.